Hey, welcome to a live group fitness class, 5S style, which means stability, strength, sweat, stretch, and smiles. We're going to hit all of the most important pieces of a solid fitness program, all in one workout. Extra focus on strength today, specifically lower body, shoulders, and core. All right, here we go. And Lexi's here, my dog. If you hear whining, it's not me, and it's not them. It's her. <laughs> All right, take it up. <clears throat> Stand nice and tall. Shift your camera angle. There we go. Take a nice big deep breath up. Inhale. Stay here and lean to one side. And then lean to the other side. And then round and scoop your belly. Check your chin. Take it behind, clasp your hands, pull down and away as much as you can, opening through your shoulders and your chest. Take a breath. Release out of that, hands on your thighs, hinge over about halfway down, lengthening from your butt through the crown of your head, then flat back. Probably feel it in your hamstrings. Add a couple of knee bends right here, back and forth, right and left. Keeping your heels down and your neck long. Bend both knees, roll all the way up. Big round shoulder circles at the top. And roll forward. One arm up and over, bring your feet in a little bit. Lengthen through your fingertips in both directions. Up and over, down. Up and over to the other side. Reach, lengthen. Got some 80s jams today. I'm feeling it. Ah, both arms up. Stand all the way to the top. This time, wide chest swan dive. Hold yourself down. Bend your knees as much as you need. Bend both knees. Roll all the way up. Ah, let's warm up the lower body. Alternating knees up to about waist height. As high as you can get them. Keeping your head up tall, not leaning over. Trying to tap and tap. Make a goal for yourself. See if you can get up here. Or down here. It's okay. We're in a noisy building and the dog got scared. Everything's fine. Four more. Three more. It's okay. Two more. One more. Ooh. Now take that behind you. Kick your butt. Heel up and in. Good girl. Butt kick, butt kick. Yeah. Kick your own butt. Don't kick the dog. <laughs> Three more. Two more. One more. Ah, land with your feet nice and wide, settle into one side, bend the knee, stacking it over your foot, stretching through your opposite inner thigh, come to the other side, Ooh. hip pops. Back to the first side, a little lower, a little stronger, one more. Come back to the middle, wiggle your feet in a little. Stop halfway, just like you did earlier. Flat back. Bend both knees round all the way up. All right, let's start this party. Let's get into some strength. Good girl. Checking in. Everybody can hear and see. And we're good. I'm going to start the timer. It's going to give us a 30-second countdown while I keep talking. Beep, beep. Did you hear it? You're going to start with a narrow squat. Your feet under your hips. Dumbbells or not, body weight, if that's where you're at today. Keep your feet in close. You've got eight seconds on our timer. You'll start with a standard booty back, chest up. Nice squat with your feet in close. There it is. Go. 30 seconds. So in this class, you don't have to maintain a certain pace. You don't have to do a certain number. You have to do the best you can for 30 seconds. 
little, little lower as you start feeling good. Or maybe a little faster if you can control it and nothing hurts. Your next move is going into an overhead press. Take those dumbbells with you. Start here, facing each other. Push them straight up. Tuck them in, push them straight up. At any time, if it's too much, you pause at the bottom, you take a break, or you alternate. Try to hang with it for the 30 seconds. We're gonna put these two together in three seconds. So take a breath right here. Squat first. Bring your weights up, push them to the ceiling. Back down for your squat. I like to take my weights all the way down, all the way up, but you could stop right here for the squat. Yep, booty back, press through your heels, push them up to the sky. Come on now. You get a full break in two seconds. There it is, 30 second recovery. Shake it out, do what you need to do. Your next two moves are rear lunges. Let me not hit the dog. Alternating lunge, step back lunge, 30 seconds, second move. Lateral shoulder raise, lightweight, maybe no weight. And then, what? We'll put them together. You have seven seconds to get ready. Start without me while I fix things. Ready? Lunges, go. Alternate, down and up. I'll be with you in one moment. Keep going. Lunge, switch feet, big step back, bend both knees. Press through your front heel. Lexi, you're in the way, child. Ideally, both knees bend 90 degrees. You get as low as possible. You push through the front heel. Get all the way up. There it is. Shoulder raise. Here we go. Shoulders down, core's in, halfway up. Straight arm, but not locked in the elbow. Soft bend, straight through the wrist. Thinking about lifting from here, top of your shoulder. Small muscle, trying to lift something far away in a straight line. You can't go heavy on this one. All right, let's put them together. Take a step back into that lunge. At the bottom, lift out to the side. Again, you can put your dumbbells down at any time if it becomes too much. Just lifting the weight of your arm might be enough today. <laughs> Try not to take it too seriously. You screw up if you wobble, laugh it off. Life's too serious. Three, two, one, done with that one. Shake it out, you have 30 seconds. Use it wisely. Breathe. Are you okay, crew? You can pop into the chat anytime if you want, if you don't want to come off camera. All good. If you need anything. All right, next move is a sumo squat. Nice and wide, really wide, toes out, straight up and down. We'll put that together with a shoulder row. Stand tall, pull your elbows wide. There it is. Sumo, toes out, drop straight down. You're pushing into your heels and you're squeezing from your inner thighs. Again, ideally you get down about parallel with the floor. Maybe not today, eventually. Keep your head up nice and tall and your shoulders down. Three, two, one, stand all the way up. Pull your elbows wide, keep your wrists down. Done. I can tell. I can feel it. If it's too much, you pause at the bottom, you breathe, you alternate, stay in it, don't stop. You have eight seconds and we put them together. Woo! So this particular 5S routine, here we go. Wide, sumo, as you come up, pull them up. This particular routine, there's a lot of strength. 
a little top heavy on the strength S and it only touches the other S's a little bit, but we'll get there. Down low, up strong. Yeah. Did I mention lots of legs and shoulders today? Beep, done. Recover, 30 seconds. Shake it out, roll it out, take a sip, whatever you need. Dance break. Still haven't gotten over you. Okay, be serious, Jen. Next move, bowler lunges. Big step back, diagonally behind you, bend both knees. Sticking your butt out, keeping your head up. Second move, bicep curls. Palms up, elbows in, then we'll put them together. There it is. Start your bowler lunges, with or without weight. You can set your dumbbells down here, or you can keep them hanging out by your side like I am. Make sure you lean back away from your front toe as you bend into the back knee. Do me a favor, take a nice big step back. If your feet are too close, you've got nowhere to go. I'm gonna go a little faster, a little lower to finish. Three, two, one. Bicep curls, stand up tall, elbows in front of your ribs, from the bottom to the top. We started at the bottom. Wrong song. <laughs> Squeeze, palms up, relax your shoulders down. Focus, right there, squeeze. In three seconds, take a breath, prepare. We're going together. Bowler lunge first, curl at the bottom. Hey, if that's too much coordination, if you feel confused, you can bowler lunge up, curl. That's more confusing for me. Um, I like putting them together at the bottom. Whatever you gotta do. There's something happening in the chat. I'm coming, I'm coming. Three, two, one. <laughs> Understood. I won't repeat that so it doesn't go live on Facebook. Not that it's anything, you know, whatever. My body is noisy too. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> what was next? Sumo, bowler. Hang on, let me stop the time because I just had a brain fart. We did two kinds of lunges, yeah? Oh, we haven't done the third squat. That's what it is. Traditional squat. Feet under your hips, toes out just a pinch to get you a little lower, and then a wide overhead press. So very similar to the first set we did. Wider feet, wider overhead push. You have three seconds. Three. Two, just the squat, go. With your dumbbells by your side, or maybe no dumbbell at all. You can pick them up just in time for the next set when you need them. Yeah. Just make sure that your hips are sliding back, but your knees are not. Your knees stay back right on top of your foot. Ah, overhead, start wide, press up, halfway down, elbows bent. Almost like you're making goal posts with your elbows and you push all the way up and in. You ready to put this one together? Four seconds. Take a breath, a break if you need it. Otherwise, here we go, right into it. Deep, full squat, wide, full press. Again, I like mine down for the squat, flip them, push them. You could keep them right here. Squat, push. Oh, mercy. This is our last standing set. We go to the floor for some core right now. You don't need your dumbbells. Set them down. Okay. Let me tell you what's about to happen. Make your way down. Knees bent, 
or extended, I suggest bent to start. You're just going to alternate legs. Second move, reach for your toes as best you can. Third move, we're going to attempt to put that together, the twist with the reach. Here we go. Legs up, alternate, lower and lift. Lengthened and low is the hardest version. Bent and not as low is still hard, but not quite as hard. So decide what you need for today. Focusing on belly button in, back supported, head and shoulders relaxed. Until now, lift your toes up, reach for them as best you can. They seem really far away, but you can do it. Little lift, shoulders lift, tap back down. Shoulders lift. If you're advanced, you come all the way up, extend your legs nice and long, actually try to reach your toes. <laughs> like the fourth time I've done this this week. It hurts. I don't want to do it anymore. But we're not done. Okay, put them together. One leg drops, one arm reaches. Switch. You can do it low and slow, come back through neutral. Reset every time. If you're feeling crazy, stay up and kick it out. Oh, I changed my mind. <laughs> Six seconds, people. We got this. We're in it together. Till the end. Three, two, one. Now, breathe. <laughs> Hi. Okay, take a full break. I'm going to stop the timer. Hey. Turn the music down and check in on you. Are you alive over there? There are moments when I question my life choices. That particular ab sequence is one of those moments. Okay. <laughs> The plan now is to repeat that bad boy. So you know what to expect? That was practice. Ouch, for real. Um, I'm wrapping my own brain around that because my body is telling me no. <laughs> but I know better. We can do this. All right, adjust accordingly. If you're burnt out and you don't think you can do it again, scale back, put your weights down, use the weight of your own body. Um, if it was not hard enough, challenge yourself. Go bigger this time. Music's going back up. We start with narrow squat, narrow press. One more set of everything. And then we'll add some stretch and balance and juicy things at the end. We have 10 seconds to get set up with your feet in closer than hip width, about shoulder width. With or without your dumbbells, go squat. I'm gonna do no dumbbells for the squat, just because I can, why not? You really only wanna add extra weight when you feel like you can control your own body weight pretty well. When this becomes easy, then you add the dumbbells. All right. Narrow overhead, which means arms in close, palms face, straight up. Yeah. Shoulders stay down and back. Neck is loose. I sound crinkly here, my friend. My shoulders pop a lot. <laughs> oh, sometimes it's a good thing. Okay, put it together. Deep squat, overhead, push. Deep squat, hot in the city. I hope you can hear the music and not just my random. I must sound like I have, I don't know, mental disorder. <laughs> Blurting out random lines, lyrics. Ah, oh, three, two, one, break. I'm turning this one up. Even if you can't hear me over it, don't matter. You don't need me. You need music. 
Next move was alternating lunges with lateral out to the side. You can't hear the music, but they're good. Now you need to hear it better because it hurts so good. Three, two, alternating lunge, straight back. Can I help you? I'll go sideways. Alternate lunge. Big step back, drop down, all the way up. This is not just legs, it's also core and balance. You're welcome. It's challenging, it's dynamic. Lots of big muscles working. Heart rate, blood pumping. Three, two, stay up. Lift out to the side. Shoulders down, halfway up. Hurts so good. Dancing not required, but you know, highly suggested. Where's Lexi? Hey girl, we're putting it together in two seconds. I'm gonna turn so I don't kick the dog. Ready? Lunge and lift. Yeah. Halfway, don't go too high. Right there. Make your lunges as small as you need, as big as you can. Oh, it hurts so good. Come on, baby. Done. Sumo squat time. Another one to make sure your feet are really wide. In closer is not easier. It's harder on your knees. Out to the corner of the room. Keep your knees open. Out. Same direction as your toes. You have three seconds. Stand it up good and tall. There we go. Drop straight down. Squeeze straight up. Pressing into your heel and pressing your knee behind you. And don't forget to squeeze your inner thighs as you come up. Oh, a little booty action too. Come on, baby. All the way up, standing shoulder row. Up tall, go wide. The thing that happens most often with this one that I see is like this. People get the weights up, but they don't get their elbows up. Or they like contort their wrists or something. Keep the weights here. Pull. <laughs> I'm sorry, like she's freaking out. Ah, ready? Put them together, girl and boy. Sumo, if there's any men here, I apologize. Ready, squat, pull, squat, pull. I promise you an effective, efficient use of your time. And that's what we're doing. It'll be over soon. You can make it. Done. Recover. Your next move was Waller Lunge and Bicep Curl. 14 seconds to dance it out. I really wish you could see the way this dog is looking at me. I know I'm crazy. It's all right. All right, Waller Lunge starts now. Go. With or without your weight. Oh, man. Drop low, let your hips slide a little, but keep your chest up. You tilt forward just a little on that. Bicep curl, we'll talk more about that later. Elbows in, another one, shoulders down, wrists straight. Try not to use momentum, 
Hold yourself still. Squeeze. You can't leave. She's at the door trying to leave. <laughs> Three seconds. Put it together. Bowler lunge, curl at the bottom. Or bowler lunge, come up and curl. stretch friends four seconds three two one done recover we did both lunges we did two squats we need to do our third squat oh and she cute your last set standard squat standard elbows wide overhead press get it together six seconds Ready, go. So even though I can't hear you, one of my favorite things is to tell my class to say, Woo! whenever they're feeling a little something, something. And nobody knows if they're having fun and actually like, woo right? Or being sarcastic like, woo, Jen, yeah, woo. Woo to you. Overhead wide, elbows bent. So at any moment, if you feel like cursing at me, you just like, woo-hoo. <laughs> can't hear you. I don't know. Even if I could hear you, I'd pretend that you were having fun and you meant it positively. And ultimately, I know you're still breathing, so that's all that counts. Ready, wide squat, put them together. Take it up wide, push. This is your last set of squats, your last set of shoulders. You've come too far, you will finish. You have 17 seconds. You can do anything for 17 seconds. Girl, it's only 11 now, come on. A few more, a few more. Deeper and stronger, finish. Yeah, three, two, get it. Good. Let me give you a minute to breathe and recover before we go to the floor. Music down. Checking on my peeps. No comments have come in. <laughs> I love you too. I just got the most beautiful, nasty tongue face from one of my friends. I have my video pinned on Zoom, so the recording and the live stream, I think, are only showing me. But just in case, keep yourselves, you know, discreet. <laughs> so we figure the system out. All right. Ready, Lexi? We'll go to the floor? All right, let's do that last core horribleness thing that's good for us. It's good for us, so we're going to do it because it's good for us. When that's over, we'll add a little stability and stretch <sighs> and round out our complete 5S approach. Timer's back on. It's counting down 20 seconds. Make your way to your mat with or without your doggy. Backside. Head and shoulders relax. Scoop your belly button up and in, keep it there. Press your hips into the floor. Start with legs up, <laughs> one at a time. Lower it down, take it back up. Hi, girlfriend. Lower and lift, and get dog kisses. Life is good. Again, beginner version, knees significantly bent. Don't tap the floor. Just lower and lift as much as you can control. Advanced is straight, all the way down, all the way up. Intermediate, somewhere in between. Keep them up, flex your feet, reach for your toes. 
Little teeny tiny pulses, barely get your shoulders off the floor to start. Bigger, reach all the way up as you get stronger. If your neck hurts, tap down and breathe at the bottom. Make it smaller. And or one hand back support, reach with one hand. Oh, ready? Three seconds, we put it together. Go, one leg, one arm, opposite. Drop and reach. Keep it little, keep it bent, something like that. Or make it big and twist. Woo! Come on, Whitney. Get it. Ten seconds. Oh, we can do it, we can do it, we can do it. Three, two, hug your knees, relax. Oh, hug, stay here, stay here. Squeeze them in, breathe, close your eyes. I don't want to move, but we will. Make your way up however you get there. Walk over, push into the floor. I'm going to stop the timer. We're going to go off script now, finish up. That was graceful. You don't have to crawl. All right. When you're ready, make your way to all fours. Hands under your shoulders or slightly forward. Uh, if you have any shoulder or wrist concerns, slightly forward is safer. Right underneath, a little more intense. Knees under hips. Tuck your tailbone under just a pinch so your back flattens out a little, but not completely. Lower arch here, but flat through the middle and the top. From here, we're adding balance. Reach one hand forward and hold. Try to get your bicep by your ear, your fingers long, your thumb up. Switch and do that on the other side. As you lift one hand, try not to shift your body weight too far to the opposite side. Stay even and stable right through your center. Switch, do that again. Opposite, side. opposite side. I have words, I know English. Hold in the center, scoop your belly button in, get a little back stretch and release here, nice and round. Ah, come back to center. We're gonna do the same thing with the legs. Ooh, as I eat the microphone. Hi. Place your hands firm and steady. One leg is gonna kick out behind you. Lift and hold. Try not to shift. Keep your body weight center. Lift and hold. Back down. Stabilize. Switch. So this is stability work. This is balance work without having to stand on one leg or do acrobatics. Switch back to the first side. Lift and lengthen. Up and out through your back foot. Yes. Come back to the middle. Gently stable. Other side. All right. We're going to attempt to put that together. If it doesn't work for you today, stick with just the arms. Ready, but opposite. Right arm, left leg at the same time. Come back to the middle and switch. Take a second in the center, breathe, push into your mat, lift. One more set each side. Stretch and reach. Switch, last one. Belly button in, shoulders strong. Push away from the floor. Lift yourself up and lengthen yourself out. Tap down. Push your hips back into a child's pose. Your hips go towards your heels. Your knees open a little. You wiggle yourself down and stretch. I feel very good about that. I think you worked hard enough. We're going to wind it down. You earned it. Okay, we did a lot of legs today. We need to give them some love or you're not gonna be able to walk tomorrow. Come on around. Let's pop onto your back one more time. Oh, hi, sweetness. All the way down. Bring one foot 
on top of the opposite thigh, just under your knee. You might feel a stretch already right here. If that's the case, settle into it, relax and stay here. Maybe bring your heel in a little closer. If you still feel nothing and you're up for it, you grab this thigh, give it a tug, bring it in towards your chest. You're looking for a stretch on this side, the side that has the foot crossed over. From here, you can either just hold still and don't move, or if you want a little more intensity, you push your top knee open just a little, like an inch. Oh, and that's deeper, ouchie. You could even roll this ankle that's hanging in the air. All right, whatever you're doing, moving or not moving, Settle down, drop the foot, switch. Opposite one up, feel it out. This is my tighter side, so here, I already feel a little soft. I didn't on the other side. Hug it in, stay here, or tuck. I see you in the chat, I can't read it from here, but I'm coming. You can roll your ankle, you can push. I can't push my thigh on this side because this hip is tighter and it doesn't like it. <laughs> I should work on that, but not today. All right, hug both in one more time. Roll yourself all the way up. Have the seat crisscross. We're gonna stretch out your neck and your shoulders. Take a breath, fan your arms nice and wide. Big breath, big breath, nice and slow. Exhale all the way down. You've earned a moment to just release and relax. Be good to yourself. Over, across, give it a little hug. Good. Release, other side. Out, across, give it a little hug. Oh, that should feel good through your shoulder and into your upper back. You worked that area hard today. Ah, release, interlock, push away. Belly in, nice and round, chin down. Hands behind you, push into the floor, pulling your shoulders down, wide across your collarbone, chin up. Okay, come back home. Just roll your shoulders out nice and loose and gentle. Other direction, big round circles. Nicely done. If you're in the Fit to Mentals Club, you will get a recording of this in your library. You can come back to it anytime. One hand down, one hand up. Work on getting better, heavier weights, deeper squats. Challenge that core section is a beast. Back to center. One last deep breath up. Fan big and wide. Exhale with your palms together. Bring it all the way down. Give yourself a round of applause because you kicked butt. I love it. Nicely done. See you next time. The hardest part is getting off the floor once it's over. Boy, okay, let's end.